The debugger in Natural One is built on top of the Eclipse debugger. Let's first select a program to debug by right-clicking it, selecting Debug As, and then Natural Application. This will open up the Eclipse Debug Perspective. This debug perspective contains a number of standard views. In the top left-hand corner is the launcher, which tracks your previous debugging sessions. Top right displays the variables which are in the current scope. In the middle is the source editor, where you can set breakpoints, and to the right is an outline view to navigate within the source. The console is still at the bottom of the perspective. The menu bar has the following debugging functions. You can run the program, stop it, step into, step over, or step out. The debugger will automatically position the program pointer at the first statement in the source, in this case, an include statement. Let's take a look at what's happening inside this copy code. So I will select Step Into from the menu bar, which automatically opens up the copy code source and displays every line. But right now we're not very interested in stepping through this part of the code, so I'll choose Step Return to step out of it. That will take me back to the main source. As we step through the program statements, we can observe how the variable values change as we go along. This is indicated by yellow color coding, as you can see in the top right window. In this view, we can also change the value of a variable, which we do by clicking on the value and entering a new value. Let's step a bit deeper into the program. We've now made a number of assignments and we can take a closer look at the content by hovering over the variables with our cursor. If you look two further statements down, you will find a stack top command. The stack top command ensures that the menu program is called again if this program exits. But how do we check the content of the stack? If you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a tab labeled Natural Stack. Clicking on it will let you see the contents of the stack, whether it is a command or data stack. If you are debugging through a complex series of objects, the variables shown in the stack view will change according to the object you are currently in. This may make it difficult to keep track of the variables you're actually interested in viewing. To make things easier, select the variables you want to watch, right-click, and then select Watch to add them to a list of variables that are being tracked. You'll see a new tab called Expressions that only displays the variables you selected. In addition to adding Watch Variables from the Variables view, you can also do it directly from the source code. The process is similar. Right-click a variable and select Watch from the menu. Another option is to select Toggle Watch Point from the menu, which will open up a tab labeled Breakpoints, which displays the variable. This tab lets you specify that you want the program to break if the value of the selected variable changes or reaches a certain value. Stepping through thousands of lines of code in a large chain of programs is a tedious task, and creating breakpoints in your source does make things easier. You can do so very easily by double-clicking in the Source Editor window, which is also located inside your Natural Editor perspective. Double-click at the start of the lines you want to break, and these breakpoints will be kept indefinitely or until you choose to remove them. After entering your breakpoints, you can now execute the program. In this example, we want to break right after an input using map statement. So we'll select Resume in the menu bar, which will open the natural screen. And we end up at the breakpoint. In the last example, we used the debugger in an online environment.
but we can also make use of debugging in batch programs. In order to debug a batch program, you need to start up a debug attach server. This works for all developers in the given environment. You can then specify that you want to debug a certain program in your natural environment, set your breakpoints, and specify a client ID. This will register that you are running a debug session under the control of the debugger attached server. Then you need to specify that this program execution is registered to the debug attached server with a specified client ID for your batch program or your RPC server. This allows the debug attached server to match these two client IDs when you execute your batch or RPC run.